Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun, and we're gonna get into this a little bit, Diddy and Cassie, and everything that has happened, and just what's out there. Let's go. So Diddy had posted this um, on his page, and I think this is a time when things were kind of getting quiet. He said like a, the last couple of weeks, and maybe he was having communication that, you know, is about to blow over. So he was feeling himself a little bit, right? He said, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Sean Diddy Combs. Now, I feel like he felt a level of comfort to say that, to know that he's done all of those things and more that we don't know about. He had to feel himself to say that. So I don't know what made me do this. I went on over to Stevie J's page. Let me say this. The last time I was on Stevie J's page, he had over a thousand photos at least, right? Now he's cleaned all that up. He only has a video of he and his mom this dude in the middle of him in a bad boy jacket right so i don't know what's going on here but he is trying to get out of the way cassie i am so sorry that you have gone through this this is horrible but we can argue the fact that this was that day in 2016 because this is cassie wrapped up in a blanket on the floor and he was saying oh you need to look how she acts like get up babe let's go take a run on the beach it's a beautiful day or this could be any countless other day that she did not want to show us her face now although diddy is no longer with revolt they had to come out and say something even with his recent separation from revolt it is still our duty to address this matter and recognize the direct impact it has on our staff our audience and the culture we represent here they're saying that um, they stand in solidarity with the victims and they stand against any form of domestic abuse and then they give a phone number for anyone who is having a problem. And let me say this, I was on live yesterday and the women who I was speaking with, I just want you all to know that I have not forgotten that live and my heart is with you and I'm just so glad you're here, right? I'm just so glad you're here. Let's keep going. Now child, I think this is something everybody wants to know. Where is Farnsworth and what does he know? Cause you know he has some good tea. Where is Farnsworth? I want to say he came out for a hot second before, but he's gone back in. I want him to come on out and talk. So I ran across this from Miss Marcy down here. And her caption is, what do you think Meek meant by? And what she's talking about is, Meek was on here rapping, talking about, I hope people can forgive me for what I did with Diddy. Like, what did you do with Diddy that you need forgiveness for? Because whatever it is, if you need us to forgive you, it could not have been good. It's going to come out, y'all. So 50 got this from the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office, right? And basically, it's saying that with this tape being out, although they can't prosecute Diddy, we can't unsee it. And his demise is alive and well. And this right here, what it says is, if the conduct depicted occurred in 2016, unfortunately, we would be unable to charge as the conduct would have occurred beyond the timeline where a crime of assault can be prosecuted. I'm just glad Cassie got her money. Let's keep going. Speaking of Cassie, her husband made a statement yesterday. And with this settlement, they are doing great. This is what Alex had to say yesterday to women and children. Men who hit women aren't men. Men who enable it and protect those people aren't men. As men, violence against women shouldn't be inevitable. Check your brothers, your friends, and your family. Our daughters, sisters, mothers, and wives should feel protected and loved. Hold the women in your life with the utmost regard. Men who hurt women hate women. And he goes on, talks about the survivors, and uh, I agree with this so much. And I'm just glad Cassie is in a better place today. And they, we will never forget this. Like, I don't know, I'm sure Carisha has taken this off her page, but it will never go away. If I wanted you to blank my blank, Diddy would have had you on your knees, your eater. He was talking to Gina, and I agree with this right here. Diddy ruined Carisha's career just by association. And also, yes, by association, and she was on the come up, right? Because I feel like 
Carisha held the city girls on her back when JT was locked up. They put that song out with um, Cardi B. She had gotten pregnant. She went through it. JT came home and they were great. But then she got mixed up with Diddy. She was like, I don't need to rap. You know what I'm saying? God, that's, that's tough. Then she pinned this to Gina, December 13, 2022. Still talking about her and her um, interview on Tasha K saying that she wanted a baby and Gina talked about how horrible Diddy was to her like child where is Carisha now this Cola Booth she is 10 toes down for Kim Porter right this one right here she said the hotel withheld footage of Diddy beating up Cassie for years due to his wealth and influence but you think the hospital told you the truth about Kim Porter's death I don't believe it then she talks about the actual problem of the women that are with Diddy. Like he treats them horribly and then they want help. And when help comes, they say, oh, we're fine now. Nothing happened. We're in love. It's a lot. And then clearly Cassie fans were coming after her. She said she's sorry that she upset the Cassie fans. She said she loves Cassie. I mean, no ill will. She was definitely abused. It's unforgivable what Diddy did to poor Cassie. She said, but I'm here for Kim Porter today. Kim is the one who is not here and no one is speaking on the horrific abuse that led to her not being here. And she's right. Because she was like, how could Kim just have pneumonia and end up leaving us? like she was healthy other than that i think this is gross it's out there i'm not gonna talk about it you can just read it i'm moving on and finally this is what i was speaking of she said rich black women don't suddenly pass away from pneumonia at 47 locked away from the world instead of receiving medical care at a hospital no family around to protect her so yes i believe we're not being told what truly happened that led to her demise and she, I, I mean at this point, I think Diddy has done anything. I think anything goes, and like they say, if they say he did it, he did it, right? But I want to know what you have to say. I want to know what you think. This is horrific. And like I said, my prayers are with Cassie, and I hope she's okay today. But my prayers are with all of you who have gone through something like this. It's your girl, Millie Chun. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.